What do we know about the man called Femi Oshibano? Find out in this report. What are we actually building? We're actually building a seven-star hotel. They are, they are flats, but it's as if you are living in a seven-star hotel. Everything you have in a seven-star hotel, we have it there. This was the 6th the of August 2021 when he featured on TVC you know, News Business people, Nigeria, where he, Olufemi Adegoki Oshibono, so spoke about people. real estate in Nigeria people, and made yeah. reference to the now collapsed people structure in Ikoyi, which it was enthusiastic it would be a game changer in the sector. But unfortunately, that dream is now a rubble. From a clothes seller in London to a real estate mogul in several countries, Mr. Shibano's story could best be described as a tale of grass to grace. He had his primary education in Lagos and attended Mayflower Secondary School, Ikene, Ogun State. The late Oshibono was a graduate of Croydon University in the United Kingdom, where he studied business and finance. In 1997, he made his foray into real estate business in Hackney, London. He is the owner of Four Score Homes. Better known as Femi Four Score, he was the first African developer to build a seven story building in the United Kingdom, among other projects. Mr. Shibono then went to South Africa and the US where he built a number of estates before returning to Nigeria. Before his death, he had planned to build another high-rise building of 25 floors on Gerald Road, Lagos. The late Oshibono had also secured approval for the development of 420 flats and another set of 110 flats also in Isheri North in the mainland area of Lagos. You know, all these arises we're seeing in Dubai, yeah. which is going to happen in Nigeria. It's a matter of time. Wherever Nigeria is now, UK was probably there about 70 years ago. Mm -hmm. That means we have a brighter future here. One time but his dreams and came crashing one day. But what could have gone wrong? Only the investigative panel set up by Governor Bajide Sonwolu would answer within 30 days. Well, let's now take you to the site of the collapsed building in Ikoyi, Lagos. And senior correspondent Sharon Ejason joins us for details on the recovery process. Sharon, what more have you been able to gather? <laughs> 